guys, it is Saturday, March 13th, and we are at my husband's work, um, Frostville State Winery, running hopefully a marathon today, preparing for my 50K next Saturday on my birthday. And whew, we're climbing right now. We're about almost a mile in and it is a beautiful day and we're excited to be out here training uh, practice run for next weekend. Um, I will be running my 50K on this same course. So hope you guys enjoy this beautiful course. I'll catch you guys in a few. doesn't do it justice <laughs> so we're uh, went down from the ridge um, ran in the valley for a few miles and now we're back up on the ridge climbed up again um, and then we're gonna go back down and fill up water and do two so we're a little over 10 miles in and going strong so we are 13.5 miles in on our second loop and I forgot how much climbing there is on this course. Um, probably, probably already climbed like 2,000 feet. Um, probably gonna double that. So, which it's great, but it's tough. So, um, we've been running for two hours, 45 minutes, and feeling okay. Um, feeling tired, feeling extra thirsty. Um, so, hopefully. I don't get dehydrated trying to drink as much as I can without getting um, cramps and stomach issues, but i um, taking it one step at a time. So we are 22 miles in, and I had to stop at this house and fill up, uh, fill up my water, but we're getting close. Yay! This, uh, I've climbed the ridge four times now, and I am hurting big time. did it 26.2 it's hard to breathe pretty proud of myself for finishing 26.2 um if you ask me right now about my birthday run next weekend running another five miles on top of that i'd say no but i'm sure that will change in a couple days actually felt overall pretty good um there was 3600 feet of elevation gain and um also a lot of declines. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go eat, shower, lay down, um, recover, and enjoy the night with the family, and I'll catch you guys later. Always coffee first. What's up, guys? It is my birthday. I'm 31 years young today. I have to attempt to run 31 miles today. I have a medal if I finish today. 31 for my 31st happy birthday that will go on the back of this medal if I finish. So getting excited about today's run, getting nervous. 
Um, made myself a cup of coffee and not sure what I'm gonna eat yet, but I'm gonna eat pretty soon here. And um, we got about an hour until it's go time. And we are running up at Brassville Estate Winery again, same as last week. I'll take you guys along with me and hope you enjoy this 50K. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, I will see you in a bit. getting started and it's gonna be a beautiful day um, probably check in every five miles or so um, unless something changes but yeah all right I'll catch you guys in a few let's do this all right we are at mile six and a half um, on a little hill right here um, I'm about to eat a uh, honey singer waffle my muscles are feeling a little tight. I've been, I uh, took a couple of breaks and stretched a little bit. I'm hoping that they can hold up <laughs> as we have a long ways to go. So um, hopefully I, it's just kind of cold out and there's still, muscles are still warming up. So we'll see how it goes. Just one mile at a time, checking away these things are the absolute best. They are so tasty. They're not too sweet, but they're just like, they're just perfect. I can't do gels because it's just too sweet, too sugary, but these are just perfect. Okay, bye. So we are back at the lodge, the house, um, for a refill of water, um, grab some more food and head back out. My um, quad right here is feeling a little tight, so I'm gonna massage that out a little bit. Um, I am currently on mile 12 and struggling a little bit more than I was last week. Um, just mentally and uh, like I just feel tired but uh, we still got a long ways to go and I might try to listen to some music, get my spirits up and just try to remember that this isn't a competition but just to be out there and enjoy the day hard and it's hecka windy today out there which sucks. The wind is just the worst I read in. Two, the next 12 miles will be even harder. So take this body armor, sport drink, proof punch, which has a lot more carbs in it and try to get my fueling under control because I'm feeling shaky, uh, which tells me I'm not eating enough, drinking enough. never feels good. I feel just heavy and um, lethargic, so I'm going to try to get that under control. I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich this morning before I left, and I always have that kind of in the middle of my run, um, snack on during my run, and I love peanut butter and jelly. It's we are going to take that. I'm going to take some more of my sport legs, which help with lactic acid buildup, help your muscles not 
break down so quickly. Honey stinger. It's better to have more food than not enough food, especially how I'm feeling today. So, I think we're good to go. All right, guys. Um, I will see you guys out there. Bring my gloves. And uh, wish me luck on this next loop. Catch you guys in a few. Later. Made it to mile 15, halfway done. Going down this steep hill and uh, feeling good. I uh, had a couple low points, but ate some food, drink, drank some electrolytes, and feeling better. We're still trucking away. Beautiful day. It's really windy out here, which kind of stinks, but beautiful day. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Yesterday, I just got caught up with family and birthday shenanigans and figured I would just pop on today as sore at all as I thought I would be. Um, I was a lot more sore last week after my marathon. Um, the only thing that's hurting is my uh, right quad, which was screaming at me yesterday. So definitely tore that a little bit, but not worried. The thing about recovery after a run like that is sometimes you don't feel like eating. You feel, for me, I always feel like a little nauseous a few days, um, but I try to eat as much as I can or liquid calories, smoothies, um, as much as good quality nutrients as you can. But one thing that I do take that I swear by that really helps with recovery, muscle recovery, is BCAAs. Um, amino acids. These, um, they help build and repair your muscles. Definitely um, when you're doing long runs, check these out. There's tons of different other brands out there, BCAAs, but um, amino acids really help with muscle recovery. So definitely I take these morning and night after a run like that. And other than, um, just normally, like when I'm just doing normal training, I'll just take these um, after my long runs for a couple days and it really does help. But anyway, um, thank you guys for joining and watching. I'm excited for my upcoming race in May on Memorial Weekend. It's a 10 hour race and you get to do as many miles as you can in 10 hours and I'm hoping to get between 40 and 50 miles. So that's what I'm building up to next. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go enjoy my day, gotta go to work, and I will catch you guys at the next video. All right, bye.